Hello everyone, this is Eiji san and in today's video, we're going to have an unboxing video about my newly acquired carnivorous plant that I bought online. It only took 3 days for this plant to be shipped here into my place. So let's see if he made it to arrive here healthy and then let me show you the beauty of this plant. You can see that I have 2 items inside the parcel. It's because I also ordered a pot for the plant itself. So the one that we are currently opening is the pot for the plant. I hope that you will still continue to support this new hobby of mine and also I hope that you will still continue to support my channel. Anyways, going back to our video. So currently we are opening the packaging of the plant. By the way, maybe you will ask what's the reason that pushed me to be in this hobby. I think it is because carnivorous plants are very challenging to take care of. And also, it's very amazing to take care of plants that can actually eat insects. Okay, so here's the plant and it's been sealed inside a ziplock then covered with papers inside to retain the moisture of the plant. So these plants live in high humidity areas, so it means that they need to be constantly moist in order to thrive. So now, I am finally uncovering the plant from the papers. This plant is still a seedling and it takes a very long time for this plant to reach the adult stage. And now you can already see the pictures. So these pictures are the most interesting thing about this plant. And it is the reason why it's famous for. So we have to be very careful on uncovering this plant to avoid the roots from being damaged. And now I want to give you a closer look to the plant before putting it into the pot. So this plant is called the Nepenthes or commonly known as the pitcher plant and they live on high mountainous areas with low nutrient soil. They get nutrients by trapping insects or animals like rats and frogs on their pitchers. Then they drown their prey and dissolve it afterwards using the digestive enzymes. So that's how this plant get its food. So now it's time to pot this plant. So I have here my black pot, then a mix of sphagnum moss and perlite, then my rainwater. So first we're gonna pour some rainwater to our sphagnum moss and perlite mix. We do this to moisten up the sphagnum moss and perlite since our plant requires a slightly moist planting media. Let's let the media to absorb the water for a while. Then, we're gonna fill this pot halfway with our planting mix. So now, I'm filling this up with our sphagnum mix. I am not stuffing it too tight inside so that we can still provide aeration for the plant or for the roots of the plant. We already finished to fill up it halfway with our sphagnum mix. It's now time to put the plant inside the pot. Then I'm gonna fill up the remaining spaces on the sides. I'm so sorry for the bad angle of the camera because it's raining outside when I was filming this video. So now I'm finishing to pot this plant by filling the sides with some sphagnum moss and perlite mix. So now we're gonna do misting on the plant by spraying it with rainwater. We already finished potting the plant, so now here's our Nepenthes Mirabilis X Viking.
For the meantime, we're gonna put him inside the aquarium in order for him to be acclimated here in his new environment. We will cover this aquarium with this transparent plastic then we will let our pitcher plant to sit inside the aquarium for several days. Then we're gonna place this under a bright shaded area. So that's it for this video and I hope you learned something. Also I hope that you might consider to keep some carnivorous plant also. I will update you about the progress of this plant. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Then see you again very soon.